Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker MSQ. In the last video, I went through the Tower of Babel dungeon. I fought Anima as the final boss of that dungeon. And then I watched the two villains go to the moon. So I guess now I need to follow them. A trip to the moon. Grahati is pondering the technological model you just beheld. My apologies, I was lost in thought. This, ad this device is of elegant design, which leads me to think I was right about Van Daniel. No matter what he claims, he still has an attachment to the trappings of his past. Whether knowing this will make your path forward clearer, I cannot say, but bear it in mind. But let us turn to the task at hand. As Heidelin said, the flow of ether will transport you to Mare Lamentorum. We must hope this ally of hers can provide you with the necessary assistance to restore the seal before Xenos and Van Daniel arrive to stop you. It seems we are ever one step behind, but I have faith that you'll make up the difference. Know that whatever awaits, our prayers are with you. Now go, beyond the sky. Alright. Fly me to the moon. Travel to Mare Lamentorum. Long, long before Dalamud was forged to imprison an elder primal. The eldest of them all, savior of the star, was sealed within a moon of his own. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and dream of the day he and we would be made whole. Here he waits, in this cold, barren place, his cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. You, with me. Heidelin's champion. Two towers. How the fuck are we breathing? That is a good question. One I do not have the answer to. I am utterly speechless. Alright, before I talk to you, let me get this. I want to see where the hell this is in terms of transportation. And how far it will take me, or how much it will cost me to go. The Sea of Stars. Mare Lamentorum. And for me to get to places, it's going to cost me 1200 or so. Alright, not 9000 like I thought it was going to be, but... Sheesh. This music is... is a thing. Alright. Let's get these extracted. Who knows how long I'll have this gear for, though. From this point on, anything could be an upgrade. 
Now, if it was up to me, I'd be keeping this gear until 90, but that's going to make the later dungeons super hard. Right, Ancient Spirit. How you doing, buddy? I. I. Return. I must. Return. Why? 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 The vision's grief takes form and lashes out. I guess I'm jumping normally. Yeah. That's my joke about. <laughs> well, good thing I'm not a caster. Your silence does nothing! Of all for my heel chocobo, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. So I've turned all of the golem old zone in one day. Damn. What level is this? Level 83. We still haven't got to a trial yet. That is insane. Home, I want, I need. You mustn't touch. In Cerulean Halls, find me. Wait a minute. Tell you what. Hang on a tick, hang on a tick. I see something there. Let me explore a little bit here. Best Ways Burrow. Lepus Lamentorum, Dynamite Disaster. Hunger Strikes. Oh. Oh. That's... That's a thing. That is a thing. That is Zodiark. Huh. That is indeed Zodiark. And that is the last seal. The others got borked. Huh. Well then. That's... That's a thing. Alright, it's gonna be easier for me to just teleport back. I suspect there are pieces missing because they're still on other shards. How that works, I have no idea. Alright, and here we go then. Destination. The Watcher's Palace. No steps echo through this looming spire save your own, but you nevertheless sense a present above. Okay.
is really unnerving. Uh huh. Hang on, the entrance is there, so. Ah. Are you whole? Are you something? What are you? Apologies, I have been preoccupied for quite some time and am um, out of practice at conversation. Ever since this moon was created by Heidelin, I have served as an integral part. I am the Watcher. So what was here before then? Was there a moon in Amrod? How did she create this? I am responsible for the prisoner and the devices that hold him fast. Were you created by Hadlin? Zodiac himself, a projection of the moon's core. So this is just a projection that's popping up from the core? The Vital Zone's going to be the bleak core, isn't it? Though rent asunder by Heidelin, he grows more powerful with every rejoining. Seven there have been. Seven too many. And yet for all his servant's machinations, he remains incomplete. The fallen are beyond salvation. No attempt would be made to free Zodiac, not until he is whole once more. But someone has taken action, the shackles that hold him nearly shattered. Six locks to his gowl, great and grand. Gargantuan swords driven deep. Brands to brine, brine, brands to bind Zodiac forever. More. Five were destroyed by his would-be liberator. One of these I have restored. So there's two now. Out the two. Yes, I strive to mend the remaining four, but my efforts are being impeded. Souls sacrificed to summon Zodiac, their manifestation consequence of the reigning seal. Huh. Let me sit up for this. Ow. Sitting in one spot is not comfy. They labor in opposition to my work. They must be expelled for the preservation of all. I only resort to expelling them if all else fails. If keeping Zodiac imprisoned is the right thing to do, I will aid you. Is it? Only 
What is right and good? Ask a thousand souls and receive a thousand answers. I offer none. I am the watcher and the gowler. I am not the judge. Know this. Hydaelyn commands the forces of stasis, and this moon is the product of such power. So long as Zordiark remains imprisoned in this place, no more sacrifices will be made in his name, nor will those souls rendered up in his name fade into oblivion. So there are still... Yeah, there are still souls there, lads. The Asians did want to save. By sacrificing others, but they still wanted to save them. Go, meet with these wandering spirits. Do what you think is right. Sea of Sorrow. The Watcher would have you deal with the spectres haunting the moon. You must confront those lost souls, yes, but you need not expel them by might of arms. A feather touch, a firm word, simple methods may send them away, faint echoes as they are. Where the strength of senti sentiment that drives them, however, emotions that do not fade, even with the passage of centuries and make haste, for yet distant, unwelcome guests draw closer. Alright. Whee! I'm surprised there's not an ether current around here. Whee! Alright, let's get some health back. Faded spirit. Where? When? How long? Speak of the dreaming spirit. So what's that building? Was it truly so long ago? Forlorn spirit. We were happy. At peace with the star. We nurtured it. Helped it grow. With our will. Our creations. Yeah. Yeah. It's a situation no one should be in. Somber spirit. We were the star's beating heart. Its life. Every soul a drop of blood flowing through its veins. To live, to learn, to create. To make better. The star flourished. As did we. Do you remember?
As the whispers die, the final spirits fades. No shadows of times long lost remain around the drowning brand. Hello, are you, are you a new minion? Or a mount? An unusually illustrious dog is gazing at you with what seems to be fond anticipation. It appears to be waiting for you to follow it. Blah. Alright, Lustrous Dog. Follow the Lustrous Dog and try not to fall behind. Okay. Why am I following a Lustrous Dog? Valis Fulneris. A mushroom cave? Why are we in the mushroom cave? And there's life on the moon. Alright, now we're out. And what's next one? Thank you, Lustrous Dog. The dog silently regards the spirit that lurks near the brand. We in the star were fulfilled. Wanted for naught. Mourned for naught. So why? Why did it have to end? Uh oh. God, this is a horrible situation. Mm-hmm. How do you even put such a situation into words? You had like a wonderful civilization across the world. And then for some reason a noise appears which makes all of your creations from your nightmares appear. And to stop the noise you sacrifice half your people to summon a god and then the other half of your people to change the world back to how it was before to repair the world and then the population they can be revived at the cost of new life which springs up it's it's a hard call on every end Clearly, people are against killing the new life, and this is how we got Idler in this. The final days taught us to fear a death forced upon us. The injustice of duties and dreams left unfulfilled. The grief of unexpected partings. Swift as darkness, cold as ash. Such tragedy yet no catharsis, such truth, yet no consolation. As the whispers die, the spirit fades, all is silent and still around the numbing brand. So we are the drowning brand, the numbing, ba the numbing brand. So water, lightning? I can only assume. 
Alright, sup, doggo. The luscious dog is once again staring at you expectantly, and who are you to deny it? Follow and try not to fall behind. Aye, aye, luscious doggo. Tell you what, real quick. Alright. I'm here, let's just go. Well, I rest him. Why are the mantis on the moon? Why? Why are the mantises on the moon? Rock golems, I understand. Why mantises? Oh no! Did a nightmare fuel I saw. The lunar tenders. God, it's like Slenderman and Cactus had a baby. Or like that one horror manga where people go through holes that are made just for them. And come out looking like this. The dog silently dis... Disregards. The dog silently regards the shadow that lurks near the brand. An anguished soul. Alright. Our perfection came crumbling down, such overwhelming despair. In that moment we knew the end was nigh. The faintest glimmer of hope remained. We gave our lives that others may live. We gave ourselves to Zodiac. Zodiac, our Lord and Saviour, to forge our world anew. To live in love again. Become one with the star. Birth heaven... Birth... Fill earth and heaven with life. Birth paradise, where fear is distant memory. Thank you for giving me the time to read this game. Pardon me, but would you be so kind as to step aside? Ah, that unmistakable colour, the soul of a Zem. Not the friend I knew, I think. Nevertheless, you are you. Hmm. So Emmett Selk meant for you to have it. You 
you seem surprised. Why might that be? We meet again, High Flodeus. Again? I do not believe I have yet the pleasure. Had the pleasure, even. Oh yeah, the version of you that we met on the first was a memory created by Emmett Selk. So the you that did sacrifice yourself to summon Zodiark is here. Oh dear lord, don't make me cry, game. Don't make me cry. Emmet Sal created a shade in my likeness, and not only me, but all of Amarot? <laughs> How very like him. <laughs> slave to sentiment, even after an eternity. As you may have guessed, I am different from the shade you met before. No mere approximation, but the original. A soul sacrificed to Zodiac. We remember in vivid detail the events leading to our purgatory. And now, the plans and plots for our resurrection, Heidelin's intervention, and Zodiacs, and the stars, final fate. And then we drifted in a waking dream, our minds steeped in fog, until you came. Am I going to free all of the souls from Zodiac? Please say that's what happens. Please let these souls rest. Please don't let bloody Xenos eat them. I know not what you and your friends intend for Zodiac, or the future of the star. Nevertheless, in you I place my trust and faith. In you I choose to believe, as Emmett Selk did. Believe in yourself. And all will be well. Heifel Deus, you're gonna make me cry again, buddy. Ay, ay, ay. Well, the tears are already falling. Uh oh. Which fuck interrupted it?
Hmm, more new arrivals. For, ah, Van Daniel. That colour I know. And another I do not. An unfamiliar but fearsome being. Yeah, that's Xenos. I have kept you from your duty. By way of apology, I will ensure the shades hinder you no more. Protect the final brand. Fare you well, my new old friend. So I guess the theory of him being the full incarnation of Ishtola is wrong since his soul was sacrificed. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I guess I was trying to play the anagram game for no logic. Ah, oh, shit. Where's the dog?